Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn none and null in Robo Framework. So, uh, this is a simple code we have written to demonstrate different ways to deal with none value or null value in Robo Framework. And uh, we'll upload this code in Git repository, and the link to Git repository will be mentioned in the description of this video. Friends, uh, if you are a Java programmer and if you have created an object, if you create the reference variable and you do not assign any value to it, by default it is null. In Python, if you do the same thing, the instead of null, it's none. Okay, and to keep both Python and uh, Java programmer happy, Robo support both none and null and uh, they are meaningfully same okay uh, here we have created some different test cases let's go to uh, uh, each of each one of them one by one uh, friends we have created a, a number here number one is five number two uh, has assigned value as six and we are checking if uh, the number one is greater than number two that means if five is greater than uh, 6 if this condition gets true then only we will assign 10 otherwise we don't do anything so in this case 5 is less than 6 this condition is false so it won't come here it will assign null value to where okay and we are just printing the null value none value okay uh, we'll see it when we execute this program uh, Okay, I think we should right away execute it and we can check the log here. Okay. So if you see the value of where it is none. Okay. Now, how to check if the variable is none or not? Here is the answer. So you can set any variable as none, okay? Because none is a variable, okay? It is a system defined, uh, built-in uh, Robo Framework variable. Uh, uh, so this none var will get this value, and you can simply use if else to check uh, if the variable has none value or not. If it is none or not. So if it is none, it will print if variable variable is none let's go to the logs and let's see what happened it didn't go to else it go to uh, uh, if and here you can say variable is none check if variable is not none instead of equal equal operator you can just use not equal operator and that's how it works in logs as well see variable is not none this condition gets true we go we assign a value 5 to this variable and uh, the condition is true because it's not null and then none and null are same now if you check if this is a, a system defined a built-in variable this null is also a system or a built-in variable and uh, if you check if these variables are equal or not let's see what happened the condition is true and it is printing none and null are same none variable is case insensitive so if you compare I know capital N uh, none with capital N and a small case none the uh, condition will be true because these are meaningfully same see the condition is true and it is printing none variable is case insensitive that is true with null as well okay friends uh, hope this video helped you and if this helped you subscribe to this channel like this video 
and let us know your thoughts in comment section because we love to hear from you and if you have any doubts on test automation or robo framework let us know in comment section and we will try to help you out thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye